Hi everyone, Nikki here. Um, coming on today to show you some works in progress and some new yarn I've got from New Wall, not New Wall ha Warehouse, from Wall Warehouse. Um, if you're coming back again, thank you very much. If you're new here, hi. I do a few videos a week of um, yarn, makeup, try-ons. I do a real mixture on this channel. So if you like that sort of thing, hit that subscribe button, share my videos. It all helps me get noticed. Also, thank you to my new subscribers. Um, I think the last time I checked, I got 975, so just 25 more to go. Well, a bit more than that, because I want to make sure I stay over the 1,000 mark before I do the yarn giveaway. And also, I will be doing a little makeup giveaway as well when I get over the 1,000 mark. So if you want to be part of that, get me shared. It all helps. Um, so I've just tried a little bit of a different angle today. I'm hoping my camera's, my phone's going to stay in the tripod. It's been popping out several times. I think I need to get a new holder. I've had this holder for a little while. And I, I, you just kept falling on the floor, so it took me a while to get you all sorted. Normally I would sit in this area here, but because of the curtains and the lighting, I thought I'd try sitting in this corner, and I think that looks better. So let's get cracking on with what I'm working on. Well, me being me, I have to have a scrap project on the go. So all I did was just chained until I got fed up of doing a chain. So it's rather long. If I fold it in half, that'd be easier. And I'm just doing a UK treble with the odd balls of DK yarn. So you can see I started on this red yarn. So I'm just using up my yarn scraps and if you know me I love doing scrap blankets scrap blankets probably have come top of the list at the moment it used to be shawls but at the moment I'm really into these scrap blankets and I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook of that one then of course because I've just talked about shawls I'm working on a virus shawl it's one of my fave shawl patterns to do and I'm just for a bit of a change I'm just doing a plain colour one in this lovely lilac yarn that I got from Hobie a while back it's their big 400 gram balls I haven't got the label here and they don't put the what's it called they don't put the name or colour they just put a shade and as I've got three of them all the yarn pans are together so I wouldn't know what colour this one is but yeah, they're big 400 grams of DK yarn. I think it's called We Heart This Yarn and it's got like a heart for it. Really, um, I got them when they were £9.80 a ball. So for, excuse me, 400 grams. I didn't think that was too bad. And I know 400 grams makes quite a good size virus shawl. So as you can see, it's getting quite big. Um, yeah, so I'm just working on this off and on. I have to be in the right mood to do this because obviously you've got counting to do. I mean, I know the pattern is a four row repeat, so it's not bad. But the amount of times I've done one, thinking, oh yeah, I'm all right, thought I've counted okay. If you've never made the virus shawl, you've got like your four row repeat. So you for like this bit here is the first bit starting, which is a chain seven. Then you have to do... So UK terms here, just to remind you. Uh, and then you do 10 trebles and then another 10 trebles on top. And then your like last bit of the four is um, 10 trebles with a chain one. So you do have to count a bit. And then you've got like your chainy bits here. There's people that explain it much better than me. Being dyslexic, I explain things I understand, but you probably wouldn't. So yeah, working on that with a 4.5 millimeter hook. Um, so I'm doing that off and on when my brain's a bit more with it. So it's taken a little while. That's why I like always having a simple scrap pr project on the go or something else really simple, like a granny square thing. Just, there's times when I don't know about you, but my brain just goes mush and it's like, I still need to do something relaxing, but you're just like, yeah, can't count, can't count today. So that's why I have a few projects on the go. This one's had to go on the back burner until I get another ball of yarn, because I know one ball won't be enough. 
and this is with the Karen Cakes in Aaron, 200 grams, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. What colour is this one? I think this is something, what's it called? I've got to find it. And where is it? Rainbow Sprinkles. So I'm just doing like a simple granny, like I said, another little simple project on the go. Let me turn it around the other way, you don't want to see it. So yeah, I've got this much left, but I know I want to get another ball somewhere and I forgot to put it in this order. So yeah, I'm just doing a simple granny, want to get another ball and that'll be whatever size it is. And I'm using a six millimetre hook and I got this one off Etsy a while back because I like them to be a little bit longer because if you're new to my channel, I had a wrist operation a couple of years ago and one of the scars is right in here because when let me show you how weird I crochet if I can see I don't put the yarn through like that I almost like knit with it so let me see and then I hold it in here and yeah so I crochet in a really odd way but it works for me and I let go of the hook so yeah, I do do it in a weird way, but everything does work well. But yeah, um, it's just because of how, especially now since I've done had my wrist operated on, it does take me a little bit longer to crochet, but it works and that's how it comes out. So those are what I'm working on. Let me just grab this. So yeah, I've got this nice big bag of, let me just do a photo. I think I did. Probably not. I'll do another one just in case. <laughs> yeah, I think I've done a couple of photos. Um, yeah, so I've got this lovely big bag of yarn. Basically, I went on there to get some more colours for... Oh, it's hot. It's really muggy today. I'm going to have to put the fan back on, but I knew for this video it would just be too loud, so that's why I got the window open. Yeah, I basically went on there to get some more colours for the temperature squares I'm doing. Leave that, darling. The camera's already falling down several times. Um, yeah, so I basically went on there for that because I thought the cooler seasons are coming and I knew I didn't have many colours for that. Come here. I don't want you touching the tripod. You come up here with mummy. That's a good boy. Don't want him knocking that over again. My phone's already been on the floor several times. So, yeah, I just basically went on there to get this colour. Sorry, I'll just grab my glasses. I won't be a sec. Okay, now I can read labels. Yeah, so I just went on there to get these. And, of course, I didn't really want to be paying um, postage. I know, you'll just have to go. You can't sit on my lap at the moment, darling. Um, I didn't want to pay postage. So I did get some other balls of yarn. So I got this one. See, I put my glasses up there. And um, this is colour tur turquoise, and I'm using Stylecraft Special DK for these temperature squares. Um, it's a really soft yarn if you've never heard of it. I'm sure you have if you're into yarn. It's like one of the big brands. It's 100% premium acrylic, 295 metres or 322 yards, and this is the colour turquoise. I've got two of them. And then the other colour I knew I was running low on for these cooler months. I mean, we've had really odd weather in the UK. Yesterday was really... Yesterday was warm as well, but the day before that, it was like you needed long sleeve tops and you wanted to have like a lightweight blankie on you. Well, I did. So this is colour Sherbet. So I've got two of them. They have gone up a little bit in price. They were £2.20. I think they've gone up to £2.25 now, so it's still not bad. It's got fluff on it from the other yarn. So yeah, two of them. I've got two of every colour I've got here. And as you know, I've really got into making those baby rompers that I'm going to turn into jumpers later on for the colder months, but I've loved doing them. And I got King Cole Splash double DK because when you make baby items especially if you're doing it for charity oh, I'm talking I can't have these on um they like to have it in a DK way because 
um, like the Premier's Charity, the baby skin it is so sensitive that decays as soft as you can get it. And if you get it in a baby yarn, then obviously it's even better. So that's why I get a lot of DK yarn, um, because if my things don't sell, I know I can pass on to charity without wearing, worrying too much, not wearing, worrying too much. Right, let's get back to this. So this is King Cole Splash. It's colour Battenberg. Oh, I love Battenberg cake. I don't know about you, but mmm, yummy. Um, and this is 100 grams. 100% acrylic, approx 320 yards or 290 metres. Washing, yes, so that's a bonus. And it is so soft and I just loved, actually these colours are quite, coming out quite true sitting here. So it's got all these mixtures of colours which I thought would be good for a boy or a girl. So I've got two of them. I haven't got my price list here so I can't check for you. And then I did get some chunky on because I do want, I plan to make some hat and scarf sets for my Etsy shop. Yes, yeah, so if you're new to my channel, I do have the link to my Etsy shop in the more box if you want to check that out. I ship to the UK and the States. If you're outside of those areas, just drop me a message and I can do you a custom order and we can discuss if you want to pay the postage for your area or not. So, yeah, okay. So this is signet yarn and it's sprinkles pop uh that's the brand i don't know if it's got a color yes it has it's called lavender honey and just look at those gorgeous bright purples really fun colors because i think in the winter a lot of the clothing they sell i mean i know i've got a green top on but it is just you know it's always these dark colors so to have something that you can brighten up your outfits with i think it's really nice so this is 100 grams, 100% acrylic, machine washable. It's only got metres on here, so it's 160 metres. Yes, I've got two of them, and I think they'll make a lovely hat and then a scarf to go with it, or maybe a cow, just depends how far it goes. And then, these look different, are they different? I thought I've got two of the same, BM27, no. So I've got two of these balls and I've used this yarn before um, a few times to make some baby items and other items. So this is James C. Brett Bar Baby Marble Double Knit. It's 100 grams and they don't give their yarn names very often. So this is BM27, 100% acrylic. Where's the... Has it got not got oh yes it is right in big writing i'm like oh has it got it and there it is so it's 268 meters or 293 yards so yeah two of them and i thought these were unisex shades again and then lastly me being me i also had to get some james c brett yarn because i love this for making hats um but especially shawls it makes really lovely shawls and this is 200 grams or 312 meters or 341 yards knits to most chunky patterns i don't knit but i crochet and it seems to work well for that this is color mc 100 so yeah it's got these lovely shades of greens real like heather colors you know like in the woods and stuff like that so i did get two of them and it's a lovely chunky yarn, marble chunky, machine washable, and I really like it. I know it works well. I don't have any real problems with it. It's one of my favourite brands. I did talk about this, I think, in... Let's take these off now, thank God. Um, I did talk about it in one of my favourite videos. I think I did favourite yarn brands. So I've only done two of those videos, so I need to just think of something else like talking about my favourites with you all, because I think that it's quite fun to know what people really like and stuff. But yeah, I just keep squidging this because it's so soft, but the you've got like greens, oranges, it's really lovely. I don't think I've used this one before. can't remember because I've used quite a few of their colours now, and I don't keep tr like a note of what I write down. So that is me for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget the thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, it helps me share my videos. I reply to all comments. 
um, and it's lovely to read them. So thank you for all of that and I will leave you alone. Bye everyone, take care.